Students who survived last week's mass shooting at their school in Florida have announced that they will march on Washington to demand political action on gun control. The so-called March for Our Lives will take place next month with sister marches planned across the United States. Park Se-young with more. Student survivors of last week's school shooting in Parkland, Florida, are calling for tighter gun control measures to ensure the massacre of 17 students and staff members at their school is the last. At Saturday's anti-gun rally, the teenagers announced a national march on Washington to hold the nation's leaders accountable and criticize politicians who have received political donations from the National Rifle Association. This is our opportunity to talk to President Trump, um, Governor Rick Scott, and State, uh, State Senator Marco Rubio to make sure that they know we are talking directly to them and all other members of the United States government that are being funded by the NRA to tell them now is the time to get on the right side of this. The so-called March for Our Lives will take place in Washington, D.C. on March 24th, accompanied by sister marches planned across the country. A website for the upcoming march says it demands, quote, a comprehensive and effective bill be immediately brought before Congress to address these gun issues. In addition to the rally, the students plan to create a badge of shame for politicians who continue to accept money from the NRA and other gun rights groups. President Trump, who has yet to mention gun control issues since the shooting, said last year he would never infringe on the right to keep arms. Park Se-young, Arirang News.